Hey basketball coaches, today I'm going to give you some fantastic Horns basketball plays that lead to a three-point shot. Now really quickly, I'm going to start with quick hitting plays that are super simple to run, and then we're going to get more and more complex as we go. Let's get down to the clipboard, let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so this first Horns basketball play is super simple. What we are going to have is player 5 setting a screen down for player 2 and player 4 setting a screen down for player 3. They're going to set those screens and player 2 and player 3 are going to be popping up to the free throw line extended or higher. Player 1 then has a decision. He can pass over to player 2 for the 3 point shot or he can pass over to player 3 for the 3 point shot. Now, I just made a video very not long ago where I talked about how to set pin down screens. So if you remember watching that video you will know that these players who are setting that screen down need to set that screen and then seal whichever way that player is trying to get past to try and force that defensive switch. So if there was a defensive switch, player 1 could pass down to player 5 quickly because that would be a mismatch. Even though we may not have gotten a 3 point shot off of this play, our backup option is still that close layup. However, let's say they didn't switch but the screen was really strong, we got that ball over there and player 2 was unable to get that shot off. Well now what I want to see happen is player 5 to go and set a screen up at player 1. I want to see player 1 to go out towards this corner. He may be open for a 3 point shot. If there's a switch or even if there isn't a switch I want player 5 to roll off that as a backup option for player 2 to hit for a layup. Now in this next basketball play it's going to be starting off similar to the last play however player one is going to call it on whichever side he would like to start it on which let's say he starts on the right side he says whatever you want to name this play on the right so let's say horns for right or whatever you want to call it player five will set a screen down player two will pop up at the same time as this happening on this side i want to see a dribble handoff with player four Player 4 is going to get that ball and he's going to then dribble up towards the point. He has an option to shoot. He also has an option to pass to player 2. He also has an option for player 5 after that screen. I want him rolling towards the basket. We could have a pass down low as well. Now, continuing on with this play, let's say nobody was open. I want player 1 to continue going down and setting a screen on player 3 and same as player 5. Player 3 now has a decision to make. He can use player 5 as a screen, cut baseline, he may be open in the low post for a layup, he may be open along this wing for a skip pass or a pass to player 2 who can pass down towards player 3 or if player 1 sets a more solid screen I want player 3 to pop up to the free throw line extended in which case he should be open for that 3 point shot. Now going back to a quick hitter what we're gonna have here is player 4 setting a screen for player 1 at the same time we're gonna have player 5 set a screen on player 2 Player 3 is going to go into the low block and player 1 is going to be using the screen and player 2 is going to be using that staggered screen. At this time, what I want to see happen is our number one option is player 2. That is 100% our number one option. However, if we have a switch and player 4 rolling towards the basket, I want to see a quick pass into player 4 for that layup, obviously if you are okay with getting that layup. Now this play actually works against a zone as well. So let's say we're going up against a zone defense. Let's say we're going up against a 3-2 or a 1-2 zone defense. What we're going to have here is player 4 setting that screen for player 1, player 2 setting a strong screen on this low post defender, and player 5 setting a screen here. Player 1 is going to be using that screen. That's going to be drawing up player 3. 
and player 3 blue is going to be cutting baseline using that staggered screen. He could be open for that 3 point shot. Player 2 may be also open rolling towards the basket, in which case this could draw in those two defenders and we may have two options in that low block for player four to pass to for a layup. Now we haven't really done too much in this video so far against zone defenses. This next play is going to be great for 2-3 as well as 3-2 zone defenses. Let's get down, let's check these out. This is an absolutely amazing basketball play. Okay, so against a zone defense, this next play is absolutely fantastic, especially against a 2-3 zone. So what we're going to have here against the 2-3 zone, usually you're going to have these two players trapping up top, or what you may have is a zone defense similar to this, where there's only one player up top guarding, and then there's a player in the high post guarding. This is a lot more rare. You usually don't see that happen. And, but you will see a trap up top because that's their zone defense to trap right in the middle. So what we're going to see here is very simple. We're going to have player 4 set a screen on player 1. Player 5 could also set a screen on that side as well. It doesn't matter. And player 1 is going to attack that gap. Well, player 1's and 3's gap. Why this is important? Because we're going to have player 3 and 1 collapse on player 4, which now leaves player 3 wide open for a 3-point shot. After that pass, however, we're going to be seeing player 3 really sprint out to try and stop that from happening, stopping that shot from happening. What I want to see now is player 1, he's going to set a screen for player 4, player 4 is going to pop up, and now this could be the extra pass 3-point shot. Now, like I was mentioning, this does work really well against a zone defense, or a 3-2 zone defense as well. Now, let me show you how that works against a 3-2 zone. Let's say player 5 sets that screen. I really want to see player 1 using that screen and collapsing player 3, or player 2, I mean. I really want to see player 1 attack that outside and draw player 4 up. The reason why I want him to continue to attack and draw player 4 up because now this opens up the whole baseline to player 2. He could cut baseline or he can kick it out for a 3 point shot. I hope that these basketball plays can help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again in our next video.